Good morning. I wanted to just jump on this morning and show you, give you a little tour about Westminster Eye Care. I'd like to start off and just let people know I really am appreciating their support and their emails that I've gotten in the last 24 hours about Uppercut and what we're doing and trying to help other practitioners, you know, in the medical field. So this is our waiting room. It didn't start out this way. Uh, it was half the size when we initially started out. Uh, obviously we have plenty of seating. We try to keep it as clean and comfortable as possible uh, for our patients where they'll sit after they check in at the front desk here. When they check in, they sign in. They're always greeted first and we verify their address and information and in that their insurance hasn't changed. We do pre-verify their insurance the day before so their check-in process goes a lot smoother. After they're called by one of our assistants, then what happens is their chart is placed up here on one of these racks. So we have five doctors seeing patients each day. We are open six days a week. And what happens here is our patient care coordinator goes through the chart and makes sure we're organized for what that patient needs so the, the visit is done as efficiently as possible. After they're taken from here, they're charged, they're brought into one of our three pretest rooms. In our pretest room, the doctor's assistant will work them up for whatever they need to be done. If they're here for special testing, it might be one version of protocol. If they're here for a comprehensive eye exam, it's a different protocol. Obviously, uh, a medical follow-up is a third different protocol that we use in the office, you know. As you walk down the hallway, we currently have 10 exam rooms, okay. And the 10 exam rooms have kind of evolved because we started with two and then we went to four and then we kept increasing as we've added doctors. We like each doctor to have approximately two rooms to go back and forth to be as efficient as possible. So most of the rooms are standard size um, with acuity projectors in there uh, to make things as clear as possible and a couple of chairs for the family members that come for their appointments. As we come down the hallway, we have our special testing rooms, okay? So special testing, we have our fundus photography, we have our corneal hysteresis in this room, so we do share a little bit in our special testing, you know? We have our OCT in this room for our patients that we need for diabetes and glaucoma patients and suspects. We'll take you around the back way here, just to get an idea. So patients are going to be seen in the exam rooms. We have four different restrooms in the back for our patients to keep them not have to be waiting online because that bottlenecks a little bit. After they're seen by the doctors in the exam rooms, the doctor's assistants come out and take them into our gallery area. So we try to keep all of our clinical and medical stuff on this side of the office, okay? And then as they exit the exam rooms, what they'll do is they will cross through this hallway to the other side of the office where our optical section is, our dispensing, and our call center. So this is the current size of our optical. We have approximately 1,800 frames that are on, on, you know, on display right now. And you know, it gives a great choice of things, from sunglasses to lower end stuff to high end stuff. So we have really everything we need. In here, our opticians and frame stylists help the patients as the chart is brought in. Okay, the recommendations are given by the doctor and prescribed in the exam room, and then that is given to the frame stylist or optician to try to facilitate and get the best pair of glasses for the patient's needs and for what their problems have been. The patient would leave the gallery area. They would come to the exit area or call center. Call center, we have dedicated at least four people answering all incoming calls. And we found that we went to this model about a year and a half ago, where we made a dedicated call center where people with that is their responsibility, employees that are just there to answer questions and make appointments. That really drove our appointment conversion rate much, much higher. Because as we know, if we don't get to the calls the first time, especially for new patients, they're going to call another office. Okay, and we don't want them to call another office. We don't want them to make their appointment here the first time, get their call answered and their questions answered. Okay, this is our dispensing area. What happens is for people that are just coming in to pick up glasses, which we use currently Solution Reach to text our patients to let them know when their glasses are ready. 
They receive the text, they come into the waiting room, they're directed right to this window, they're greeted, they come around, we have them sit down, and we fit them with their glasses and make sure everything's done properly. So that gives you a little bit of idea about where the patient encounter actually happens. Now I'll take you to kind of the back office area, okay? Our back office area has a couple of different areas. This is just a break room for our staff that they use for their charts and to get water and so forth. This is our clinical director's office, Jason. Jason Taylor is our clinical director and uh, he headquarters everything from back here. We have our billing department here, which Amory's in the billing department, Shale's in the billing department. So we have currently three to four people working on our billing department for our patients. We have a doctor's lounge. So instead of having individual desks, our doctors voted to have a more of a conference room setting so they can interact and socialize and, and discuss cases. So that's been a great aspect to where our group setting has really evolved. We have a small contact lens room for our current fittings and storage of contact lenses. Okay. That's for the most part the main floor of the office. Okay. We do have a lab downstairs which I'll take you down the stairs and show you so you'll get the back way of going down where we make our glasses on site and edge them in house. So currently we have two edgers that we're working. Uh, we have two staff members, a little help from a third that help us with our edging. You know, uh, at the patient volume we're seeing with five doctors each day, um, it, it gets pretty busy down here. Uh, the reason why we don't have any patients right now is Wednesdays we don't start seeing patients till 10 a.m. We work 10 to 7 a.m. It leaves us time for meetings on Wednesday mornings with our staff without being interrupted by patient cares and phones and questions and so forth. So we feel that it's very helpful to have departmental meetings and office meetings at this time on Wednesday mornings usually. Down here we have a staff break room for their lunch. So everybody can, we usually do two different shifts so everybody can enjoy their lunch away from upstairs and the phone's ringing and so forth. And we still have some of this under construction because it's constantly evolving at, at Westminster Eye Care. This is Dr. Armando's office and myself. Kind of also in the lower level, it's a little quieter, a little less interrupting, and it allows us to focus on things a little bit better, you know? We also have the unfinished room of Uppercut, our latest, our latest addition to things. I mean, it's just come on board in the last couple of months, so it's a really exciting thing, and we should have that room hopefully finished in the next week or two. So that's what we're kind of working on with things. Um, but just to give you a little bit of background about Westminster Eye Care and myself, because I've gotten some emails and questions uh, after a previous video I did post on Uppercut. You know, uh, we've been in business for 16 years. My partner John and I have done it just ourselves. As far as partners, you are the only two owners. We started with seven employees uh, outside of the original doctor that we purchased the practice from and his family. And we are currently at 54 employees. You know, we started at $600,000 that first year. We didn't even have enough patients for the two, and a, two of us to work full time. We had to build it up. Uh, this year on pays for probably five and a half million dollars. So we've been very blessed. Our staff does a tremendous job and has a great role in the community. So it's made us, you know, evolve. So with the increased volume, the patient volume, the role in the community, it's allowed us to embrace technology and change with things. You know, and it all starts from what's your desire, what your what really drives you? And I, I grew up in New York City. We started in a one-bedroom apartment, and I was brought up where my dad worked very hard, worked his way up, had a great job in, in Manhattan, and it really showed me what it was like to be successful. And it drove me to get to this point, you know? So I've had a lot of great mentors along the way. My wife has been an integral part in helping me grow Westminster Eye Care 
and grow our personally we have a real estate company also GMC properties so you need to surround yourself with a great team and I've been very blessed to have a great team and great mentors and we'll talk a little bit more about that in the future but I just wanted to hop on today give you a little bit tour of Westminster Eye Care and what has started the premise for why we started Uppercut to give value and to help docs manage their business and so that their practice does not run them that they could run it to allow themselves to enjoy their lives at the same time as practicing in this great profession. Thank you very much.